Hi there folks, this is Paleo, this is part 3 of my NetRadiant tutorial. Uh, today we will be covering the function platform doors, doors triggered by buttons and teleporters. So um, I've made this little pre-made area here, as you can see it's split into sections for each thing. Uh, first of all we're going to start with the function platform. Uh, so we're just going to go over here to this bit. And then we're going to make a brush, first of all for our actual platform itself. So we'll just resize this to about there, give it a texture, and then we want to make another brush that's going to be, if my mouse starts working again, there we go, it's going to be the height of where we want our lift to go, and uh, we have to trigger it, we have to um, texture it with the trigger texture. Then we select both things, and we go to function platform and we've just made a lift and um, you do require both brushes for this so the actual um, platform itself and then this one that spans the height uh, always create it in the raised position so you know this is what it will raise to from the floor and that's how you make a lift very easy uh, next up the teleporter so I've made this little brush here uh, it just indicates to the player there's a teleporter nearby, and you could use just about anything for that, so it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, yeah, same th same thing again. Change the texture to trigger, and then um, select the brush, right click, go to trigger, and then teleport. And uh, we need a teleporter destination entity for this as well, so we go up to this side behind the glass. And I'm going to make a uh, misc teleporter destination and then just bring it down and then um, you have to pay attention to this little arrow because it indicates what direction the player will come out of the teleporter in so uh, we're going to rotate it, rotate it around and then face it towards where our door is going to be and then the uh, next thing we have to do is link the two entities together so first we select the teleport then we go over and we select its destination, then we press Ctrl K, just like with the jump pad, and that's how you make a very basic teleporter. Well, there only really, really is one kind of teleporter, which is the basic kind, so you know. Anyway, next thing, uh, we're going to make a simple door. So for this, I want to copy paste this brush here, resize it again, down to a nice door size. Then we'll just move it so it actually meets the... There we go. So uh, doors are very easy. You just make your brush like that, and then you go function, and then ah, auto save. Damn you! Uh, yeah, well, was it function and then door, and then uh, we press the N to bring up the entity menu, and you know we can see different things here. For it. um, you're going to want to set a direction for it, so we'll set ours to up, which means it'll open on the Z axis, and it'll open up like that. And I've just accidentally resized it, which doesn't help, but um. Yeah, that'll open upwards. You can also set the health on it and the speed. Uh, I find a good speed is usually around 300. Uh, health just means it has to be shot open. It's good for secret doors in that case. Uh, so, yeah, that's our door done. So, uh, next thing is a door triggered by a button. So, uh, I'm going to use this brush here. Uh, copy paste again. And resize a little bit put our second door and then uh, I'm going to copy paste this brush once again and then resize this one to make a nice button uh, we'll go for about that size and then just go to function button and then we set our door function door and first of all I'm going to set the direction on the door because you have to set a direction and then we have to set a direction on the button as well. We'll go down. And then uh, with this button, we want it to be shot. So um, we're going to set the health on it. And we're going to set it to 1. So, you know, it takes 1 damage and then the button triggers. And then the idea is, at that point, the button being triggered then triggers the door. But of course, we have to link the two together. So once again, we have the button selected. We select the door. Then we press Control K. And that's that done. We now have a one way door that is triggered by a button. So our player, first of all, takes a lift up goes through the teleport, ends up out here, goes through a normal door, 
shoots the button and then can go back through to where you start again. Very simple. Anyway, I'll put this up on Uploader and give you the link to it. Uh, that's this tutorial done. Happy mapping.